Now, tonight at 6, we told you about the case of animal neglect, a dog owner who had to appear in court. Animal Control says his dogs have been left out in dangerously high temperatures, their ears badly bleeding from fly bites and with visible flesh wounds from being chained up. NBC 4's Tyler Beckham here now with an update on the dogs and how those animals are being rescued. Tyler? Well, take a look here. My Columbus Animal Control gave NBC 4 these pictures from their investigative file of Diamond, Princess, and Bear. You can see they're tied up outside, but as we get a little bit closer, this dog here is chained and the chain is wrapped around its legs. In this case, you can see the fly injuries on the ear there and a closer look, the bleeding from the flies that were eating the dogs after being left out all day. And this is just one case of many that animal control responds to daily when it is as hot out as it's been. It's Carrie Mannion from the Humane Society. How are you doing? Columbus Humane Society Chief Humane Agent Carrie Mannion is head of a six member team. There is a dog barking inside, too. I heard that. Boots on the ground on a rescue mission on this day to save dogs left out in the sweltering summer heat. Often dealing with negligent pet owners. This guy allegedly is out on parole, just to give you the heads up. Carries its own risk. Here on the north side off Howard Street, he and humane agent Jessica King find no owner. Hey, buddy. It's okay. But two dogs left in a backyard under 90 plus degree heat, both chained and without water, one without shelter. You can see this animal from the alley. You can see it from the sidewalk. So this animal needs immediate help. Mannion and King end up taking one dog because the other at least has shelter. Mannion says there's no probable cause, so he leaves him here, but not before giving him water. Oh, imagine being outside, chained, direct sunlight, swarm of flies. Find about eating at your ears, having no water. Which brings us to this man. What happened now? Your dogs that the, that the Humane Society picked up? Yeah. Sean Agee's three German Shepherds were picked up on the south side after neighbors complained they were barking and left outside. Pictures show flies had bitten their ears so badly they left open wounds and a leg wound on one from being tangled in its chain. Agee told me he wanted his dogs back. People watching are going to go. You shouldn't give them their dogs back. What do you say? To they ain't got folks? nothing to say about it. That's okay. our dogs. Okay. I love my Not dogs, a, and I know I my love grandbaby loves them. Meanwhile, back at the Humane Society, where all three were being treated for their injuries, exercised, and well-fed and hydrated, Diamond, Princess, and Bear are timid, but exploring their temporary home while an environmental judge determines what's next. And court documents show AG faces nine counts of animal neglect and three counts of violating the city's anti-tethering law, as you can see from this picture. He has to pay more than $2,700 in order to get the dogs back, and you should find out if that'll happen when he's due back in court, Mike, on August 1st. All righty. Thanks so much, Tyler. New